Welcome back. Atlassian co-founder Scott Farquhar and a private equity firm have launched a $300 million takeover bid for Gen X Power, a renewable energy company based in Queensland. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, the tech billionaire's investment fund launched the takeover bid this weekend. Yeah, launched over the weekend. So remember earlier this year, his co-founder, Mike Cannon-Brooks, launched his own takeover bid for AGL Energy. Well, this time round, it's Scott Farquhar launching a bid for GeneX Power in Queensland. So this is Scott on the screen here. So it's his investment firm, Skip Capital, which is chaired by his wife, Kim Jackson. So that's teamed up with a New York-based private equity firm called Stone Peak. And they've launched this takeover bid. So GeneX Power has a project near Townsville. It includes wind and solar. Um, they, on the company's website, they say they have roughly $1 billion in renewable energy projects currently in the pipeline. So the takeover bid's at $0.23 cents a share. That values the business at about $300 million. Currently, the share price is $0.13.5 cents a share. So it would have just started trading this morning and expect the shares in GeneX to be jumping pretty quite a lot, I'd say, this in this and this morning's trade. So this deal, if it does go ahead, right now the GeneX board are looking at the deal and they haven't told shareholders to take any action yet. But if it does go ahead, it'll obviously need some foreign investment review board approval. Yeah, a lot of money in renewable energy, it would seem. Ed, uh, more broadly, it's a pretty busy week of economic news. The June quarter inflation figures on Wednesday, the US Federal Reserve on Thursday. Huge week for the economy news, particularly inflation for Australia. That'll come out on Wednesday, and that's for the June quarter. And the expectation of economists is inflation is going to get to a 32-year high. So they're expecting inflation in June to peak at about 6.3% at headline inflation. And remember, the Reserve Bank believes inflation is going to get to 7 by the end of this year. So inflation probably still has a bit more to go. But we'll get those numbers on Wednesday. And that big implications for our Reserve Bank of Australia, which we'll be meeting next week. And economists <coughs> think the RBA cash rate could be going up by other 50 basis points. Some even expect potentially 75 basis points next week for our cash rate. Um, and then obviously Thursday wow. we have the US Federal Reserve. Now remember inflation in the US is at more, a roughly 40 year high at 9.1%. They're expected to lift the cash rate by 75 basis points in the United States on Thursday and we'll get the press conference from Jerome Powell early Thursday morning. So there's a lot of economic news happening this week, Laura. Yeah, not all of it great either, Ed. Thanks so much.